Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. <laughs> There's a tower. <laughs> What's my, yeah, okay. So the tower, I feel like divine intervention has come in to ensure that you are free from some type of um, mental imprisonment, some type of trap or an illusion. The wheel is finally shifting. Then, yeah, the Ten of Cups, you have a lot of happiness that's coming. Wow. And the Ace of Cups is here. So behind you is the Three of Swords. I feel like you're putting this energy behind you. Um, yeah, there's divine intervention here for sure with this tower. I feel like with the tower being here with the Eight of Swords, you've had some type of epiphany. Um, some type of realization about a, a situation. Some of you, you could be um, in a very heavy manifestation type of energy right now. Um, looking more into like the law of attraction, but with the, the wheel of fortune being here with the, the ten of cups and the ace of cups, um, something very beautiful is coming in for you. So you could be manifesting the home life, the family life, or just the overall emotional stability and security and, and wish fulfillment that you truly want. You could be moving into a period now where things in your friendships, your relationships, everything is starting to really just work in your favor. Like I said, it's sort of like the calm after the storm is what I'm getting here. This is the illusion here, the, the moon and the three of swords. So if there was any type of secrecy here about a third party situation, a third party situation situation doesn't always have to be um in a romantic situation a third party situation is any type of interference that's causing you some type of obstacle or challenge now this could be a third party situation in a in a um partnership or relationship but this could a third party it's just interference okay this could be financial issues it could be family issues um, it could be, you know, you trying to just recover. It could be actual illness. So it looks like there is a, a breakthrough here and the moon card being there. I, I do feel like there's a purging of negative energies that's happening for everyone across the collective. I know in the reading yesterday, I was seeing where there was a lot of masculine energy, um, coming up and, and going towards divine feminine. So a lot is shifting, especially when it comes to love, I feel, um, because people are starting to get the truth and the clarity about situations that don't serve them. So prepare for a lot of reciprocity, I would say, to come. And this, I feel like this is in all areas of your life. You have the four of cups here. So it looks like for a lot of you, wow, look at this. The four of cups is here, the lovers and the justice card. I feel that many of you, you're no longer confused about some type of toxic situation that perhaps was karmic. Um, it was some type of lesson learned. You're no longer confused about it. So I feel like the time of you missing out on opportunities is over. You finally call for justice to be served in some type of situation where there was heartbreak, there was pain, there was betrayal, any type of suffering, you finally found the, the strength to overcome it. I feel like this has someone else in um, more of a negative energy because I do feel that there have been strongholds that have been strategically placed in your life where someone has been trying to really test your will and test your patience and your strength and this was this was a, an attack on the mind. I feel some of you definitely could have um, unfortunately had to deal with a lot of like crown chakra, magic, mind control, manipulation. Um, I, I do pick up spell work here for sure. For some of you, not for everyone. You know, it's not always spell work. It could just be a lot of heavy manipulation. Sometimes manipulation comes in the form of those people that you care a lot for, that you trust. They will they will say certain things. Um, when they are around you to plant certain seeds so that you won't go in a certain direction or do certain things. And you have to learn how to be very discerning and understand that you cannot just only live. Well, we all kind of live in our minds. So you have to be careful of what you allow to enter your mind. So that's why I always say be careful of what you listen to, what you read, the people that you um that you hang around, you know, the music, the readers that you listen to. Just be very careful because most of the times every, everything that you absorb is coming from someone else's point of view or perspective. And if you don't resonate with that, you always want to give that person the space to be who they are and to be on whatever frequency that they're on. But just know that you don't have to tune your station to theirs. I hope that makes sense. So let's see, what is this tower about? 
this is just escaping like a lot of um when i say mind control it's like the the matrix it's escaping a lot of self-limiting beliefs the things that are in your subconscious mind the seven of pentacles is here the tower so whatever this situation is i feel like someone worked very hard to create some type of tower moment in your life this could be someone who has a very narcissistic type of behavior okay someone possibly from your past here because i do see the six of cups this could be someone from childhood this could be friend family member or lover a boss someone that you do have history with but i feel like this tower is coming in to allow you now to get back into almost like a childlike type of energy where you are returning back to a sense of self where you're happy and you're joyous and as a result of that now that's what you are manifesting some of you are manifesting a romantic partner that you will actually have a very beautiful life with whether you want to have children or not some of you um within the next 10 months or so give or take um you may actually be blessed with a child there's two tens here and then the ace of cups so there is for sure a completion and then look at here you have the sun so if you are not wanting to become pregnant for some of you or you know whatever the case be careful because there could be something unexpected to come about i do feel like this is something that will be a blessing here's a page so yeah definitely um and here's a ten of wands so ten ten and here's a ten of wands um something here is has either completed or it's on its way to cycling out of your life for good and it's making space for something very beautiful of course everyone is not looking to um have a family but there's just some type of very emotionally fulfilling opportunity that's coming and we'll clarify in a moment this tower though i feel that for some of you someone worked very very hard to create this tower in your life and it's yeah look at this the king of swords it still came out so you have a person here who they have absolutely no emotions i do feel that there's an energy of a person um that you may have walked away from or they walked away from you someone here is in a very angry vicious um type of energy and they wanted to cause a tower for you they want to create a stronghold this person probably has watched and monitored you for a long time but whatever it is it's like I, this is something that has backfired okay the tower that someone created for you it's like they they kind of blew themselves up and went falling out of the same tower that they thought that they were standing at the top of watching you this also could be something for sure where someone has had um, some type of way of monitoring you. I'm getting a lot of monitoring, whether this is spiritual monitoring or someone actually hacking or spying or whatever. This is blown up in someone's face. I'm also getting to if someone has been like studying you or spying on you, what they're seeing is actually causing a major upheaval for them because what someone is actually seeing most likely is that you're actually free and you're moving forward towards something that's very fulfilling as i keep saying and this has someone very angry yeah here it is the truth has been illuminated to you there's some negative energy that has been returned to its sender and you actually have this beautiful time now of a lot of joy and peace and happiness and enlightenment um you get to start over um you are recognizing something about yourself and then here's the king of cups so you're going from like this king of swords energy to this king of cups so this could be oh wow the king of cups is here with the nine of cups and the three of wands so if you've been manifesting good friendships or relationships someone yeah this is this is gonna put you on a path to going towards like your life purpose and for some of you this is a significant relationship coming into your life and this could be um a king of cups king of cups will be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio that does not have to be their sun sign they may not be a water sign but this signifies to me that there is something that is going to come in very soon if it hasn't made its way to you already that's going to lead to this ten of cups ace of cups someone is for sure coming in with an offer and it's going to feel all of your cups and for a lot of you this is a it's a partnership it's a divine partnership or connection so you definitely may have like an ex-lover or someone from the past uh an ex-friend or someone who has been trying to create blockages for you it's not working yeah this is someone very jealous and envious of the type of lifestyle the legacy or the abundance that you that you um are going into in your life 
somebody definitely wanted to keep you at the crossroads here. So continue to just be very discerning. Yeah. Justice is being started on whatever group or collaboration that was working against you. I feel like, yeah, you're getting the missing piece here. You could be receiving some type of news or letter, okay? Where someone here is going to have to just surrender. And then the seven of wands is here. You're protected because you completely mastered yourself. So whoever this person is that keeps trying to come after your divine energy, okay? They, they are coming to the realization that each time this person, they're being blown back. Like... Somebody here is trying, they're actually hurting themselves simply because they don't want you to have help. And I just saw 1144. You can look that number up. But here is the Queen of Cups. And look, the Six of Swords. This King of Cups is coming at some point for this, this Queen of Cups. And, and this is, this is a case of you're going to live happily ever after. And there's nothing that this person can do about it. But someone is very upset that they've missed a magical opportunity with you. And they're sending out a lot of this energy, you know, just a lot of negative projections, but it's not working. The wheel has already turned like you've, you've already left. So it's like someone is throwing out targets and it's not hitting anything because, well, they're throwing out darts and there is no target there because you're not even there. You've been completely removed. Three of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. This is manifestation of the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles, wow. And behind that is the Ace of Wands. That's, that's amazing. The blockage is removed. It is. I feel like you, you moved slowly. You were practical. You planned. You were devoted to yourself, to your, your higher self, to mastering yourself and to God. And now the blockages are removed. You have this, this Ten of Pentacles that's coming. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups is out here, as well as the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Sun. This is beautiful energy. So whatever was happening in the background, it doesn't even matter. It's like the calm after the storm. After the storm. The, for a lot of you, your storm is over. You know, you, you still have to stay on guard, you know, because... The enemy will, will wait to see if they can catch you off guard, but that should just be a part of your way of living at this point of always, you know, staying ready so you don't have to get ready. But this Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles is, it, it's everything. Yeah, you walked away. You walked away from a heartbreaking situation and you mastered yourself. And the truth is, is that you are completely free. You're free. That's the truth. You're free. You now have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords out here. Four Aces. Your new beginning, it cannot be denied or, or delayed. It's here. Again, my, my message to you is be very careful of what you, you listen to. You know, even as a reader, I can't really control the energies that come out. I really want to channel the the best energies, but there are situations that come out that are behind the veil that I can't help but to pick up on. But you guys that watch a lot of tarot or I don't know if you talk to various psychics, prophets or whatever, really try to train your brain to be focused on these aces don't don't focus too much on the tower this is the calm after the storm the tower has already hit you have something very beautiful literally here you these three cards fell out together the eight of cups the three of swords and the eight of pentacles there's two eights okay this to me also speaks of like infinite abundance and self-mastery you actually healed and overcome some type of three or sword situation, something that was meant to hurt you, to harm you and to leave you heartbroken. You had the strength to walk away from it and you mastered yourself. So, yes, you are receiving freedom. OK, I think in maybe a week or two ago, I had a reading and I was talking about you freeing yourself from covenants and promises and contracts that were made even in your past life or 
yeah, like in your past life, you like renouncing and denouncing yourself from various contracts of groups, you know, whether it's freeing yourself from your family, your friend groups or whatever, because there's a karmic energy that was keeping you stuck in some type of karmic cycle. By doing that healing work now, I, I was speaking about, you know, you getting your freedom papers. A lot of people, it has been a situation where you haven't really been able to attract the relationship that you wanted because for this is for those of you who are watching and maybe you, you know, you were living with someone or you're separated or divorced. Get your affairs in order, you know, because everything is is energy. If you are still married, you know, even if you're not living with the person, you're separated or whatever, and you go out in the world and you're looking for your perfect mate energetically you're still tied to something you're still in another contract you have to completely get out of certain contracts when if you want a new contract it's like god will not give you anything if your hand is not open as long as you're holding on to something with a closed fist you won't receive anything new so th this tells me that the tower is also coming in now and the way i'm looking at this now too is you have even those different angels and and protectors like archangel michael who are coming in and they're really clearing your path of anything that you've had difficulty with letting go of and sometimes that means that a person will hurt you so bad that you just can't go back or a person will be removed from your life completely and permanently so that there is no way that you can sabotage yourself by dealing with that person or they can't come in to sabotage you anymore these are the permanent endings that are necessary for you to have the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. This is truth. It's clarity. It's being decisive in your decision making. This is self-love. It's honoring yourself, knowing your self-worth and your value. Those are the things that create passion. And with passion, that's where the Midas touch energy comes from. And then you can manifest. So like I said, you're turning your pain into purpose and your purpose into profit. You're understanding that your test trials and tribulations are an opportunity for you to share your testimony, but to keep moving forward. Yeah. You have here the Knight of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. For those of you who are in this divine feminine energy, and it doesn't matter if you are um, male or female, someone is coming in for you at a very rapid pace after a lot. And you and a person that you are connecting with could have both went through a very, very difficult storm. The Ten of Swords, and you now are both taking action to going towards wish fulfillment and happiness after feeling like all was lost so for some of you that are on this journey especially if you are looking for love you could meet someone who has been held back just like you because of certain covenants contracts partnerships or vows or promises that they made to people in this lifetime or in previous lifetimes whether they knowingly did it or unknowingly all of us have made mistakes at some point and found ourselves in cycles or situations or partnerships that was not for our greatest and highest good but it takes you to go through those things to learn what to do and what not to do so it's like the divine is showing you a lot of grace and mercy and showing you that you're sovereign and that you're free you are going to meet other people that are part of your soul family that have also possibly gone through being like drug you know <laughs> drug in the mud for for whatever or or by whomever but these are the type of people who will understand where you're coming from. You will understand where they're coming from. And there's an opportunity for you to build. It's like right now, there are certain blessings that are coming in for a lot of people in the collective that the only thing that you have to do right now is to make a decision with the two of wands and to simply just position yourself. The heavy lifting has already been done. That's the reason why you are always under attack. The seven of pentacles. You've been working very hard for some of you for seven nine ten years maybe even more but you may just not have had that awareness as to why you were being stalled yeah there's love coming in look at this knight of cups the lovers the king of cups the seven of wands ten of wands and the empress do you see that so there's a lover coming in here for the same queen of cups that i saw before someone here has made a decision that they're coming in 
to protect and to provide and to have this family, this love life, this new beginning with you. And this for a lot of you is a brand new person. Or it's someone that has been in your life that you don't have a lot of history with. I, I feel like God is really wiping a lot of people's um, slate clean. Those people that you have that really, really just bad blood and energy with, they can't come with you. You may still have people in your life that like you haven't, things haven't really gotten off the ground with them. Those people may have an opportunity to prove themselves to you, but I don't really see from, from what I'm picking up here and everyone's story is different. Those people who have left you just completely wounded and feeling so bad that cr pretty much made you this warrior-like spirit, they were simply just a lesson. Those people won't get to share with you in this lifetime. You have the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Empress here. Someone here, I feel, is about to fight with all of their might to be in a connection with a divine feminine. And this 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 reminds me of the energy yesterday. I feel that for some divine feminines, your self-worth and value, and keep in mind divine feminine can be male or female, your self-worth and value is attracting a certain like breed and caliber of people that they understand that they have to put in the work to be with you because you hold all the cards. Everything goes through the true divine feminine. And I've been talking about this for weeks. So I know a lot of you have to be experiencing this. Um, it is the fertile soil that is needed from this divine feminine for any masculine to be able to plant a seed and experience a real harvest. And there's a lot of masculines who are just now having an awakening, hangman energy, and they're coming to the realization that Without this divine feminine, without the, the the fertility and the soil of the divine feminine that they won't have a harvest. And so now they are standing up for what they believe in. They're fighting. They're, they're making the final push, despite the fact that some of them are currently in the Ten of Swords energy. They are going through karma for some of the decisions that they made, consciously or unconsciously, to turn away from their soul contract their mission or even their divine feminine they're seeing the truth of it now and they're ready to get things right and for some of you like i said this is the energy of a person that may be entering this is like a collective energy so as you listen to these readings train your ears to not listen for just one person that's the problem why so many people stay on a karmic wheel. They listen to every reading and everything is centered around one person and that person may not even be your person these readings are picking up energy of people that you haven't even met yet. So just keep that in mind because most people, and I see it in the comments, you're so quick to say what, what you won't do and who you won't go back to. The reason why you're not moving forward is because all you ever talk about and worry about is what you're not going back to. If you've already made the decision that you're not going back then, it shouldn't be a conversation anymore. It shouldn't be a, a, a focal point or a focus of yours anymore. You give too much energy and attention to what you're not going to do to the point that you're not actually manifesting what you truly want. I'm just saying. If you're done with the past, then the reading shouldn't even resonate with the past anymore. You, you meet people who are brand new in your life. They have a past too, just like you do. These are people who are coming out of the storm. You will meet people and they will have a story just like you. That doesn't mean that their story is the same as your ex. Yeah, you can no longer be stuck at a crossroads. You have to make a decision. Walk by faith and not by sight. Make sure now that you know that you will only accept reciprocal relationships. You will only accept what you know you are worth. This is in the workplace. This is in your relationships. This is in your family. You have to understand the value of your time, your effort, and your energy. Queen of Pentacles. The death card is here. Hmm. Something about this Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. It's a Queen of Wands and a Queen of Pentacles who's been casting a lot of illusions. For some of you, this is like um, sisters, or this could be like a mother and a daughter together. 
or a, a spiritualist and, and their mentor or someone, there's, there's been, um, and there is an age difference in these people. There's been like the queen of wands, queen of pentacles energy, and they don't have to be earth signs or fire signs, but I am getting like a mother and a daughter, or like I said, just a, a older woman and a younger woman who have been sharing practices with one another when it comes to creating illusions, casting illusions over people's lives to stop and block them from having wish fulfillment. So this instability that you've been experiencing is, is coming to an end for sure. It, it really is. Somebody wanted you to be stuck in fear and agony and pain and suffering. And all it did is it forced you inward to actually heal. And it made you closer to God and your higher self. And now, you know, maybe you turned your back. It's 222 right now. 222. Maybe you turned your back on a situation or someone wanted you to turn your back on a connection or a partnership, whether it was platonic, business, romantic, or whatever it is. And now that the illusion is cleared, you're making a decision to go after whatever it is that you want. If this isn't you, this is someone that is in your life or coming towards you. Someone can see that there has just been an illusion. And I do feel with the moon card being here, this is the moon to me is like cancer energy. Doesn't always have to be, but cancer energy, moon energy represents the home, the mother sometimes. Um, the moon is obviously illusions, things not appearing as they truly are cleansing and clearing like i said this could be conditioning things in the subconscious mind but there there has been like an elder here who has been teaching either you or someone that's in your life or coming towards you certain things that just don't really resonate with you or this person for some of you this isn't happening to you like i said it could be happening to someone that's either in your life or about to enter your life but i do see where they're uh and i and i feel strong like this is a uh, this queen of wands is someone who is very spiritual. They could have learned a lot of practices from like a mother or a grandmother or just someone in the spiritual community. These are two women I'm picking up on who have worked together, sharing various spells and, and scarcity tactics and, and so forth um, to try and block and stop certain people and it's not working anymore because like I said these people they're they're throwing energy at you and you're no longer in the same space you're not on the same timeline plane or dimension so whatever they're throwing at you is just being lost because and it's it, you know energy is never destroyed so if they're throwing at you and it's not hitting you that means that of course it's going back to them that's for somebody here for sure there's a duo here that I'm picking up on very strongly. And what's very interesting is the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, I keep seeing them in the shuffle, but they haven't come out. These two people, and it could be more, they're hiding from you right now. They're hiding. They've done so much in the dark. And now that they're watching you and you're having this calm. And look at that. There's the magician. These people do moon magic. I, I cannot make this up. The, the this is a, a a woman two women at least two and i'm getting strongly like mother and daughter or mother figure a woman and a, a mother like figure they are they're using moon cycles natal charts or whatever they need to try to cast illusions this is someone who is watching and monitoring the lives of different people especially you or someone in your life that you've either connected with or you're about to connect with and they're trying to figure out i'm hearing using certain moons and and certain transits because i keep being drawn to um this will this will of fortune right now to me it really looks like an astrological report to me right now um these people, they already know, you know, if a certain person comes into your life and they're a certain sign or at a certain time or, you know, I'm not an astrologer, but they know something where they're purposely trying to team up and stop and block you. Wow. I had a reading about that like last year 
where I said there's like a friend of yours that has been watching tarot and using natal charts and everything. And I, it was labeled the goddess of the moon who's been sabotaging your life. This could be a cancer person. doesn't have to be. And it could be a man or a woman. But this is someone here who is very much well-versed in moon magic. And what I'm getting, these people, they, they do... Um, moon magic, jar spells, freezer spells. They're throwing every type of hoodoo voodoo spell that they can at you in hopes to stop or block you. But the thing about it is the new opportunity for you is all, it has already presented itself. It has already presented itself. It's right here. There's four aces. They, like I said, you're, you're on a whole new frequency. <laughs> and they can't touch you because they... They won't even heal themselves enough to get to this, that point. This is someone who is very much just stuck in karmic energy. This could even be like the type of reader that focuses on nothing but karmic energy. That's it. So, you know, just be careful, like I said, who you listen to. There's situations that are behind the veil that can teach people and create awareness. But you have some people, they live for the drama. And they rely heavily on spell work and manipulation to pretty much like try and change people's free will. So just be careful. I'm just going to get a few cards here from the Evil Eye Oracle about these people. And like I said, they haven't come out. So you guys have some people right now. Um, they're they're hiding from you either right now in the 3d or even in the spirit room They're hiding from you because they already know that they've done something that most likely is going to backfire Someone here is envious of your children or your pregnancy So you could be pregnant with an actual child or they know that you know looking at your natal chart Maybe they know that you're so you should be expecting something or you know Just pregnant with some type of idea. It doesn't have to be a child It's, it's being envious of the fact that you are a true divine feminist. Someone that they're, they don't like who you are, the true essence of your being. The fact that the divine feminine carries all of the fertility and abundance. That's why children and pregnancy obviously represents fertility. Someone doesn't like your fertility. A scorn, love. This is an old fling of your current or recent ex-partner. Who still feels deep pain of rejection and betrayal. So for some of you, this could be one of your exes. Okay, now if you're a female, this could be like the partner of one of your exes that is jealous and envious of you. Because that person, you know, that you've already walked away from may still have interest in you. But for some of you, you actually have a person in your life or about to enter your life who has a very jealous, envious ex who's very scorned. And they are very jealous of your... Fertility. Some of you, you have, I'm just going to say for divine feminists who are female, of course, you have a lot of different women, whether they are in your life or in the life of whoever the person is in your life or about to enter your life who are very jealous and envious. And a lot of people are very afraid that you're going to start a family, whether it's you having children or having a blended family with someone, because that represents legacy, you know, to to have a family or especially to, to bear children with someone, if you're a divine being and you're trying to, I don't like to say doing it the right way because everyone chooses to start families or plan families however they so choose to, and that's your business. But people are jealous and envious of what you, the potential that you have when it comes to family planning or building you know, fortune or whatever. Someone doesn't want to see that for you. There's a lot of women too who are very upset that men are leaving behind marriages and long-term commitments to pursue divine partners that they will build a life with and whom they will be with forever. To have a family, that means that these karmic energies who have always been able to kind of infiltrate divine connections. They're being pushed out for good. Energy vampire. Yeah. Excessively demanding your attention and emotional support. To me, this seems a lot throat chakra like someone's ex. This, this feels like the karmic ex of a masculine who is really trying to 
drain this masculine and even project a lot of negative energy onto a divine feminine because this masculine is most likely standing up for themselves remember in the reading earlier a few of the cards like i said there's a masculine who's going towards a divine feminine no matter what even if they don't know this person someone has made up in their mind that they're leaving a karmic lifestyle behind and they're going to get onto their life path and the karmic energies you guys they're more aware of things than anyone because all they do is obsess watch stalk and do spell work they know more than most psychics and prophets and they don't even really have the actual gift to tap into if some of them don't but they yeah look <laughs> causing you to feel lightheaded and severe headaches and migraines misery loves company like i said someone here is doing a lot of crown chakra magic moon magic and crown chakra magic and if i'm not mistaken what's today the third there's a full moon coming up in just a few days so you guys really may want to make sure that you are you know protecting yourself protecting your crown because someone here is definitely trying to drain your energy or drain the energy of your person okay i myself have been making it a point to say even if you don't know who your next partner is in life Start to just say a prayer for them. Your prayers will get to the right place just by setting the, the proper intentions. There's an old lover here. And I, I, this to me, the picture that I'm getting is this is a woman and her mother. Okay. Or a mother figure that is very upset about the fact that a man is moving forward towards a divine feminine. And this mother and daughter or whatever this duo is. They're doing crown chakra, moon magic or whatever to try and block someone's throat chakra. I feel like there's a man out here who's starting to stand up for themselves and set intentions and, and be more truthful and authentic. And this has um, this has really, really upset this karmic woman and the mother because someone someone here is probably saying that they're done and they really mean it. And it's very in spirit to some of you, you don't know this person yet. <laughs> For divine feminist, some of you, you haven't even met this person. But there's a masculine who's in the background and they're creating a certain type of life. Look, it's um, two, three, four. <laughs> and I just got an alert. So something is falling into place. Two, three, four. Hmm. I don't know why they really just stood us. I don't see, like, I see numbers like this sometimes, but for some of you, this is something that um, I'm just getting this as it may not be significant to everyone, but some of you, a lot of really weird stuff could have started happening, especially in February. In February, of course, you know, there was Valentine's Day, but February, March, and April, this three month period is going to be very significant um it's a, a new lunar year you know airy season marks the begin is the alpha that's the beginning so it's sort of like it maybe in february people started to recognize like wow they were really trying to do a lot of spell work and magic because they're tying to get certain things done maybe based on these different transits or moon cycles that they're using or i don't know they were trying to get something done. I feel like whatever this situation is, perhaps by the time April comes around, hopefully for a lot of you, you will start to really, really fall into this energy of abundance. And that's the number four, um, April being the fourth month. And we have these four aces here. So for some of you, you know, just, just continue to manifest. I don't even want to say too much about what I see manifesting or when because i am picking it up you can use a lot of you who watch my channel you're very very intuitive and i'm pretty sure you're discerning you have good things coming in but i'm being called right now to not even say and maybe that's a message for some of you guys be careful not to share too much of what you're doing where you're going or how you're doing it because like i said whoever this duo is that's doing a lot of this magic and manipulation they are making these spells and creating blockages based off of what they know about you. 
you may not even know these people, but it's something about the information that you're putting out. Okay, so if you're on social media, if you're talking, and some of these people, they're doing a lot. You know, they're hiring private investigators. Like, it's something about these men who, some of these men who are stepping fully into their divine masculine energy, these women, like, they're holding on to them for dear life. So that means that, you know, some of you, you have some really good men and women coming towards you. They actually have a lot to offer. I, that would be the only reason why someone would go through such <laughs> extremes to try and block a person from moving on. Um, so just look forward to the good things that are coming. But like I said, just be discerning. Be careful of what you what you share. Okay. Because um, I tell you guys, sometimes it's it's the person that's sitting right next to you. That you're laughing and talking to, sharing good things in your life, and they're going, getting readings and you know doing every everything that they possibly can to try and stop or block you. But somebody here is definitely utilizing moon cycles, natal charts, and whatever other TikTok spell that they can find. So I, I, this is sort of like a, I guess a, a full moon. Warning, somebody here is trying to block someone's crown or throat chakra. And this is a scorned lover who's very jealous and envious that you could possibly end up having a child or a business with someone that's leaving them behind. Expect powerful change came out. Aries, here is time to take action. I feel like there's a masculine here who is taking action and this is bringing about very very powerful changes some of you you know i just have to say looking at these aces here some of you the person that's entering your life and the things that you're gonna do together it's mind-blowing just keep it to yourself though a time for healing it just came out so this is very powerful healing that's happening this is something that is shifting and changing i heard even down like on a dna level don't let your past hold you back wow and a new start is coming so like i said the karmics know that they're getting the boot <laughs> a lot of them they've already eliminated themselves and now they're they're just doing their they're trying to up the ante and it's not working because i said they're throwing darts at a target that's not even there Final messages here. Keep your heart open. Leave the past behind. So again, leave the past behind. There's something in your past that just cannot go with you. And believe in your good luck. This is Sagittarius. And we have Libra, Sagittarius, Capricorn here. Cool your emotions. Full moon in Aries. Release control. Yeah, you don't have to try and control. The, the energy that I feel right now is very calm. And I wasn't calm when I started doing this reading. Just sitting here, it's very, very calm because like, the tower has already hit. What I'm, I'm seeing right now, like in my own mind's eye, is I'm seeing all this stuff flying around. It's like... Um, The worst of the worst has already been sent out into the universe and it was directed towards you. There's a very strong like return to sender that's working in your favor right now. Um and it's just it's an it's a an angelic type of protection. You it's not you doing any type of spell work. It's your energy just repels this type of bad energy um very very strong though but it's your past that keep it's like the past keeps knocking at the door and you're not even there like you you don't even live there anymore so that makes me think too for some people this could even be someone sending spell work to a particular address or like a car or something like that in hopes to sabotage something and they don't realize you're, you're not there it's like you're just not there or I don't know it it, it, it really 
I'm seeing a lot of stuff. <laughs> Somebody is planning certain attacks and you just keep dodging them. Because everywhere that they think you're going to show up, you don't sh you don't show up to that place or the place where they think you live, you don't live there. It's just sending stuff out and it's not touching you. But like I said, energy is never destroyed. So if it's not attack you, it has to go back. That's the reason why in this entire reading, I saw the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands maybe six or seven times, but they never fell out. This is someone who is hiding. These people are hiding because as they watch and stalk you, they know that you're not going down. Let me tell you about anybody that understands energy. They know if the energy does not go where they want it, so it has to come back. So somebody right now is afraid that they weren't able to hold you back because you took time out to heal. So there's a very powerful change that's coming. Your heart is still open because a lot of you, you, you probably don't do any type of spell where you're not sending anything back or you're not playing this return to sender um, magical game with anybody. Your heart stays open. So you always have good luck, Sagittarius. You're like a shaman. You're an earth angel. You know how to transmute energy. You understand energy and alchemy. So you have a new start coming. That's why I said before, don't focus on the tower. Focus on the revelation that you're receiving from the tower to create the new beginning. You have four aces here, the ten of cups, the sun, the wheel of fortune. There is nothing in your past that you need to be concerned with or worried about. That's, that's the whole trap. This is really interesting. <laughs> um, let me see. I have... Let me see something here. Somebody is very, very manipulative. Extremely. But these people are, are cowards. They do all of this manipulation and spell work to try to have power over people, but they won't come out and show themselves. <laughs> They're scared, you guys. Trust me, they are very afraid right now. Oh, man. There's a car, a car that just hit the floor. One second. Courtship. You have a courtship coming with an official person. 422. April 22nd. I I'm telling you. Um, that could be significant. That also to me makes me think of like Taurus season. And you know, Taurus, like that's the that's like the hierophant energy, also. Sorry you guys. <laughs> I didn't want to break my neck trying to get this. I'm sitting in a high chair. <laughs> so, the privileged lady is here. Courtship official person. You're about to be very privileged. And this is the problem. Somebody does not want this official person to get away because any person that deals with this official person automatically becomes privileged. So someone knows that their privileges... <laughs> The privileges that they had while dealing with this person is going to go to someone else, especially if you end up having a child with this person. Somebody is even concerned about losing medical benefits. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, somebody like their bread and butter. It depends on this official person, this masculine and they, they, they are very, very afraid. And like I said, for some people, this person, they may not know you because you may not have even met this masculine yet. Um, they just know that whoever gets this masculine is going to get the best version of this masculine. Is what I'm really getting. Somebody knows that like they, they had a good person, a good, I'm just going to say, somebody knows they had a good man. And they probably kept this this man with spell work and a lot of manipulation. And now that that's wearing off, now that this masculine is growing and evolving and healing and wants to leave, somebody is terrified. And they're sending all kinds of bad energy out. They may know if this if you know this masculine, 
whoever they left behind, they know everything about you. Just from, from stalking. Divine feminine, divine masculine have barely showed themselves in this reading. And the people who are behind trying to sabotage the connection, they're hiding. But they already know exactly what's about to happen. Like I said, you're, somebody does not want to give up their privileges. <laughs> so the card that just fell on the floor is the high honor card. So you're going to be a privileged lady in high honor. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This just fell on the floor, high honor. And then look at this, house and marriage. Whoa, and family room. So somebody knows that a person is coming towards you and most likely you're gonna marry this person. And everything good about this person, you're gonna be able to enjoy. This is that energy of somebody saying, well, I never got that. Certain people bring certain things out of people. This is a divine feminine that's inspiring this masculine to be a divine masculine. They have a soul contract together. And somebody is, they do not want to live life seeing a divine feminine be with this official person. Wow. And I'm telling you, for so many of you, I promise. Either you have not met this masculine yet, or you probably have, if you know this masculine, it's, it's something that's extremely casual. Very casual. This masculine could be going through a divorce or separated. That could be a part of it, because this has a lot to do with money. And I feel like, hold on, because I'm hearing a song. So mine is like, you know, well, who, who are you with? I feel like there's a masculine who has been taking time to work on themselves, but the person that they are leaving behind or that they've left behind feels like everything that they're doing is because of another, of another woman. And you could be like in some type of communication with this masculine. I don't know. If you are whoever the person is that they've left behind this scorned lover, they've researched you extensively and they just it's like this person the, the thing i'm getting now is like i said this is a, like a karmic woman and her mother or she has a like a a high priestess or a, a witch or a psychic on payroll i'm seeing somebody show someone a picture wow you guys i'm seeing this right now this ex of a masculine that's either in your life or about to come into they somehow have gotten like a picture of you and they've shown it to like a psychic or someone and i feel like the psychic said yes that's his next wife or yes he will have a family this person is doing everything this is a this is picture magic wow wow this is picture magic moon magic and picture magic it's somebody showed somebody a picture of you and the person confirmed yes that is that masculine's next wife or whatever and this person is doing moon magic they are trying to throw every spell that they can to stop this person from coming towards you and it's not working it is not working it's clear here and you guys know the kipper deck has plenty of <laughs> cards of endings imprisonment there no you have courtship official person so with courtship being here for some of you you may not you may know this person but this will be an actual courtship this isn't like some type of casual no this is someone who is an official person that will want to court you like they want to get to know you you will be privileged with this person though as you should be you are a woman or a man of high honor but by being with this person, this person is going to, I feel, really lay the red carpet out for you. 
because I feel like there's a masculine out here, male or female, who, you know how people say, um, imagine, like if you've given your best to the wrong person, imagine what the right person will receive, that's this energy. Whereas like there's a masculine or feminine, whomever out here who has given their best to a relationship, a marriage, a family, or whatever. And they are awakening, realizing that it was karmic. They now want to move on and be with someone who is divine, that they have a real soul contract with. And the karmic is like, no, wanting this person to stay behind, it's not working. This, this person has already jumped out of this situation. Somebody has, there's a person here who has filed for the, a divorce or... Their divorce and the, the, the ex-spouse or whomever is still, like, trying to keep hope alive. And there's no hope in this situation. Like, none. Somebody is completely... So, for some of you, I do feel like maybe, maybe this person does know you. Maybe you do know this person. Because somebody has a picture. Somebody showed somebody a picture. And it was... It was confirmed because I'm seeing the they're like, yes, yes, that that is his wife. And that, that trips me out because I did a reading a few weeks ago where I said somebody and this was in February. I said somebody paid someone to do like a breakup separation spell and they said to get rid of the karmic. Well, they are the karmic. So they pretty much eliminated themselves. Somebody here has like filed for a divorce and everything. Someone has either filed for a divorce or they've moved out of a home. Someone has done something very drastic. Like I'm seeing a man who has, like I said, filed for a divorce. They've moved out of a home. They've taken like a major step to leave someone behind. So this is someone's moon magic or spell work that completely just backfired. And, and I feel like now... This person has, has asked someone, well, who is this other woman or man? And a psychic has told, oh, yeah, that's that person's next spouse. That's that person's twin flame. And they're like, what? <laughs> this person is, like, mad at the psychic because they're like, no, I'm, I'm that person's person. No, you're not. <laughs> Look at this eight of cups. What did I say? Somebody here, these cards, I, something just said, pick these cards up. This feminine here has to go. She has to go. Eight of Cups. She's got to pack her stuff up. There's a this official person, this masculine has probably told this karmic ex scorn lover, you have to go. If they don't live together, some this man is cutting off money or something, and it's like, no, you have to go. Or I'm not paying something. Like somebody has lost some type of privileges. And then here you have the nine of cups and the star. The stars are aligning. For someone that has a past life connection, this person met you. It was a faded connection. Look at this. The world. And then here's the four of wands and the ace of cups. I have not touched these cards in probably over a week. I mean a month. Ace of cups and the hierophant. My, my, my. There you have it. I love how the, these like situations, how they've just been unfolding lately intuitively but the cards literally say whatever i'm picking up on like i i just love that but yeah there's there's a um, karmic here who has gotten the boot like she's gotten kicked out of someone's energy she like someone is like no i'm packing up i'm moving out or you have to move out like there's a i'm getting a man who's making very very drastic changes with the karmic because this person, they're they're like they're seeing the light. I feel with this divine feminine who they met. This is like, like I said, somebody did some spell work to try and dictate and control the masculine, and it did nothing but push this masculine right towards somebody to a new lover. That's all it did. This completely backfired. Like all of the stars aligned. This person here, you may have met this person in a store or just in a, I don't know, just randomly met them. Could have exchanged numbers or social medias or something like that. You could have even met this person and it was a discussion about business. 
you didn't know that this person was dealing with what they were dealing with at home and I, i'm not even getting like i said it's a courtship this isn't like someone who's coming at you trying to sleep with you or be you know on any type of sleazy type of energy no like this is someone that just met you maybe while they were on a break or separated from someone or whatever somebody decided to, to look into your life divine feminine do spell work and it all backfired this person is about to run to you and give you the entire world i mean seriously the ace of cups the four of wands the hierophant and the world this is a major upgrade and then you have four aces out there before wow my goodness cloud nine <laughs> cloud this person feels like they're on cloud nine with you drama this person is leaving the drama at the door they want romance then here you have checkpoint money and finance being at odds yeah somebody here is going through like a nasty breakup or divorce or yeah where somebody here is like no take my name off the lease you can have the car take my name off the accounts you know no more joint accounts all, like somebody is just done with everything this karmic and her mother or her favorite witch they couldn't stop this one they could not something here is truly meant to be truly 100 percent happily ever after is here happily ever after i mean you can't stop it there's no drama here this drama is being checked at the front door and the back door it's like no I feel like this mass is telling this person, like, listen, we need to talk about money and finances. If there's kids involved, they're like, well, what are we going to do about the kids? But something here is over. Mm. Wow. Anything else? Self-love. Yeah, I feel like you probably are just loving yourself. You're confident. A lot of you, you may, I don't know, you may not even know about this situation that's happening in the background. And it's probably a good thing because it's masculine. You're like a breath of fresh air. They know that you're not with the drama. They know it. You have too much love for yourself. That's why when this person, when they think about you or they're around you, you know, they spend any time with you. It's like they're on cloud nine, deeper intimacy. This is someone who's longing for deeper intimacy and they want a real life partner. They're ready to explore, to go on a new chapter in life with you. You're their safe place. And it's like ecstasy. It's cloud nine. You and this person, you understand each other's love language. You probably have like some type of telepathic communication and they're leaving behind. They're going through a breakup with someone who has um, control issues. The person that they are with only wants to be with them because maybe this person is of high honor or they want a lot of attention and they just want this person's security and stability that's it and somebody knows that you're you're someone's divine counterpart and <laughs> they have to end their cycle and i'm t i feel like god is coming in like listen i will regulate this situation However I see fit. So don't get in the way. Somebody. Ooh, this is. Let me. Whoever did this. This spell work. This was bad. It was real bad. I mean seriously. Th this is like an epic fail. Yikes. I'm going to leave it there you guys. This was a long reading, but I just was kind of, spirit was kind of taking me, like, I saw so many different situations. I'm seeing changes in bank accounts, um, cars, ownership. Like, I'm seeing somebody writing out a will. I'm seeing a lot happening with children, um, co-parenting. I think I talked about that in a reading a few days ago, though. Um, I'm seeing, like, right now, I'm seeing a person, literally, I'm seeing the doors of a leasing office open up. Somebody lives in like a high rise. They're going to the lease. It's a very nice office. They're going to the leasing office. Like they want their name taken off of a lease or they're, you know, somebody, they, I'm telling somebody is breaking out. They're like, no, we can break the lease. And they don't care how much money has to be spent. This is someone who I don't feel like they're too concerned about finances. Or even if they are, somebody is standing on principle now. This is a masculine for a lot. They're standing on principle. They're like, yeah, I may lose money, but I have to get out of this situation. And there is, for some, like I said, there is a divine feminine who has, um, 
I don't want to say so much inspire someone, but someone is aware of the fact that there's a better energy out there for them. I'll just put it that way. Because I don't feel like this is a divine feminine who is like actively involved with this masculine. I feel like maybe you and this person have had a few conversations and when somebody went behind the situation and did the spell work, of course, it, if somebody tries to do like a separation spell, obviously if it backfires, it makes that person even closer to you. You know what I'm saying? So if someone saw that this person was communicating with you via text, email or whatever, maybe you and this person exchanged a picture or they saw you on Instagram or Facebook, whatever. When the person went and did the spell work, now this person like they, it's not an obsession because it's not unhealthy, but they know who you are to them in the spirit now. So they're like, yeah, I'll, I'll do whatever I have to do to eventually make sure I clear a path to be with the person that I'm supposed to be with. So you got somebody now that's working hard to create a life for you. I had a reading last year where I said some there's a masculine who knows that Sin City wasn't made for you. There's a song, Sin City isn't made for angels like you. Somebody already knows like you're not gonna deal with being second or drama. So they're like, well, I'll just I'll just get rid of everything. That means somebody sees a lot of value in you, so Divine Feminine, you just stay out of the way. Continue loving on yourself and let this situation play out. A lot of you, you don't know about what all is happening behind the scenes. Um, and I feel like this masculine wants to keep it that way. Because it will be easy to assume that they've done something wrong. But this is not a masculine, I feel, who has done anything wrong. This is a masculine who simply just wants a new start. 